Good morning everyone, my name's Ben and I just watched Bo Burnham's new special on Netflix and I don't know how to feel. Today, we're going to be learning a lick, alright, from the master, that is Andy Wood. If you haven't heard of Andy Wood, go listen to everything he's ever done in terms of technique. His playing is just second to none, his right hand's ridiculous. He's an insane mandolin player, he's an insane acoustic player. I was first introduced to it through the guitar company Sir uh, and their factory parties because I'm a huge Big Rec fan and all the Big Rec stuff that they have done at the Sir factory parties has been immense so I went and watched every other Sir factory party thing. Along comes this guy and I'm like what on God's green earth is occurring here? His technique is just blistering, it's insane. So we're going to take a lick from his song, A Lie, and we're going to break it down. It's pretty simple in theory, but not so much in execution. <laughs> so we're going to break it down, we're going to have a look, we're going to have a watch. Alright, here we go. Alright, so we're in the key of D minor. We're in the key of D minor. Awesome, awesome, awesome key. The lick I want to talk about is this little sweep arpeggio that he does. Alright, I'll play it nice and slowly for you. It's an F major 9 arpeggio. It goes like this. That's the lick, alright, and he starts it on B. Uh, four of the previous bar because he's so nice and simply what we're going to do first finger on the F note right there eighth fret of the fifth string we're going to go eight and then we're going to go twelve with our pinky all right and then we're going to go ten with our second finger on string four, nine, at string three, twelve, on string three, uh, ten on string two, eight on string one, twelve on string one, thirteen, twelve, and then back again, eight, back up to 12 on our third string, back to 9, back to 10, back to 12, alright, okay, so F, ma F major 9 arpeggio, but it's how he plays it, and it's a right hand exercise, okay, because this is a sweet picking lick, which are not easy, my tip for this lick, start super, super slow, and don't attempt to play the whole thing first time, okay, what do I want you to do? break it down into little chunks, okay? If we haven't worked on any arpeggio work before, then what you gotta do, take the first three notes. The picking's really important. What we wanna do is actually start on an upstroke, which is gonna be super confusing. So up, down, down. All right, we're economy picking this. So what that means, we're actually using rest strokes, okay? So when we go up and then down, that down stroke is actually going to take us with our pick to resting on that uh, string below that we're going to play through, okay? So up, down, and rest, down, and rest. And slowly add a couple of notes on until you get and then work on coming down okay now what's interesting about conry picking is if you're doing one note per string or three notes per string an odd number of notes per string you can get through pretty easy okay but the minute you start doing an even amount of notes you've got to kind of be a little bit tricky okay you have to use some hammer-ons and some pull-offs and some slides and stuff. Okay, so there's a prime example of that in this. 
we go up, I'm talking about the strokes now, so up, down, 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 hammer on, okay? Because if we picked that, it would be an upstroke, okay? And then we're screwed because we need to get to the second string, okay? So he hammers on. Now that we've gotten the first kind of ascending part, we're going to have a look at the descending part and how to come around, okay? There's a million different ways to do it. I tend to legato the whole last, uh, whole top string. Because that frees me up to just focus on that down stroke, ah, uh, sorry, that up stroke on string two, all right? If you don't want to do that, if you want to pick it, you can pick it any way you want. As long as you end up with an upstroke that rests on string two, because that's where we've got to come back, all right? All right, so there, I do a down stroke, an up stroke, a slide, a down, and then an up. And that brings me to that rest stroke, okay? That lick can be put in loads of other contexts. It doesn't just have to be played like that. For example, I change it up quite a bit. I kind of double up on that middle section sometimes. Like if I'm playing it, let's play it in like a different context. Let's play it in like a kind of a groovier kind of... stuff with that okay so take that lick learn it do whatever you want with it after you learn it because it's your lick now all right it's an Andy Wood lick but make it your own all right guys cool hope you found that lesson enjoyable hope you made sense of it hope I made sense uh, it's the first one of these I've done so if you got any constructive criticism feel free to leave it in the comments below I'm more than happy to uh, to work on it because we're all learning okay so learn the lick chuck it in your own playing let me know how you go with it I'll see you guys in the next vlidaho all right bye bye